In this video, we're going to look at a new product from Microsoft, and that is Microsoft Clarity. Now, Microsoft Clarity is something that will allow you to track your user's sessions, which is nothing new. We've got Google Analytics, and I've reviewed this before. But the biggest difference with Clarity is that it actually records the sessions where you can see the clicks, you can see JavaScript errors, you can see how far people are scrolling down the page. So it's giving you a lot more. So I would say you're using it ideally in conjunction with Google Analytics, not instead of. So this is kind of the first video of a series that I'm going to be doing all about Clarity. So go ahead and I've put a link to the corresponding blog post where you can um, read through it as well and also have access to all of the blogs and videos that are going to come in this specific series. All right, so let's go ahead and get started and look and see how we would actually add this to code for our website. All right, so the first thing is I'm at clarity.microsoft.com going to go ahead and click get started and I've got three methods or three options in which I can use to sign up. So I'm going to go ahead and use Google. I've got that tied obviously to a Google Analytics account. So to me, it kind of makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and use that option um, and I've already been signed in. So it should just go ahead and take me in. And the first thing it's going to ask is, OK, well, so what do you want to set up as a project? Because I don't have a project yet. So I'm going to go ahead and add this for the Up podcast uh, website, which is a podcast I do with fellow MVP Lisa Crosby in Australia. So I'm going to call it the Up podcast. Now, the name is what will appear up here where I've got my project. If I've got multiple projects, then I'll just use that as a drop down. And it's just the name that I'll be flipping through. And we can see here it's got website, the example. Um, at this point, this isn't actually going to tie it to my site. It's the tracking code that we'll add that will link it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the up podcast dot com. And then we've got a category at the moment. This category, not entirely sure what it's what it's doing. It could be something later on down the road in terms of being able to, to use this. It could also be that it's for Microsoft in terms of the fact that this is actually a free service. Um, you might have heard the term before. If a service is free, then guess what? You are the product or the service. So it could be that they're actually using this for their analytics to look at the data that's coming through. No idea at this point just a theory. So I'm going to go ahead and click create. And what that's going to do is set up what's called a project, which is just basically a way to tie all of the data together. So at the minute, I've got these three tabs, dashboard, recordings and heat maps, but we haven't actually put the tracking code on. So there's not going to be anything there. So I'm going to go back to settings. What that's going to do is it's going to go ahead and it's going to give me tracking code that I'm going to be able to put into the website so that then I'll be able to actually capture the data, capture those visits um, and be able to review the recordings and the heat maps and all of that good analytic information. Now we can see here that we've got that tracking code that we could add and it tells us that that would need to go into the head element of the site or app. So it could be that you're actually wanting to track the um, the visits or the usage of an app that you have. Same thing you could do with Google Analytics. Um, so I would take that code and I'd go ahead and put it in the head element of the site, which I'll show you in just a minute. And then what we can also do is we can see if we don't want to actually add the code manually, we could use it in conjunction with other third party platforms. The one that I use is Google Tag Manager, which I have done a video on before, which I'll um, share in the description below. And you can use that instead. Now, the cool thing is that they've set up instructions for all of these. So if I click on Google Tag Manager, it's actually going to give us what we need to be able to walk through that. So we're going to go ahead and look at that as well. So first of all, we'll look at how we actually add the tracking code directly to the site pages. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just copy the tracking code to our clipboard. And this is just very, very basic. It's going to be um, different ways in doing this, depending on your website and how your website is structured. If you are using WordPress, there are actually plugins that allow you to put code using the plugin itself rather than going into the theme to edit it. But essentially, this is where you would need to add it is somewhere when it talks about that head element. It's basically needing to go somewhere between 
this starting of the head and the ending of the head. Um, so we could put it um, in different places. I could go ahead and I could do a little bit here and say start of clarity code. And then oh, end of clarity code. And then I could go ahead and I can actually paste that, that tracking code. Oh, let's copy that again. And I can go ahead and just paste it in there. So simple as that. Um, but again, there are plugins that you can use, which you should really be using unless you kind of know what you're doing in terms of editing that header. So I'm going to take that out. Um, the method that I would suggest using is to be using Google Tag Manager. So let's go ahead and look at. All right. So if I go into a Google Tag Manager, and so here we've got Google Tag Manager for the Up podcast. So what I can do is I can go ahead and I can add in a new tag. So if I click on tags and I'm going to go ahead and click on new. Um, and I am just going to go ahead and let's call this um, Microsoft Clarity. And I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and edit the tag configuration. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for custom HTML and select that one. And then what I need is the actual uh, clarity tracking code. So if I'm back on the um, dashboard for this and I go ahead and copy the tracking code that it's provided me with. And I go ahead and just paste that in there. So once I've got that pasted in, I can go ahead and just save it. Uh, so that's fine. We're going to save the tag and oh, Hang on a second. Let's go back to that. So then what I need to do is go ahead and actually add a trigger. So for the trigger, what I need to do is I want to trigger this on all pages. So very similar to when you've got Google Analytics, you want to actually have this um, trigger and track for all of the pages of your website. So once we've gone ahead and added that, we'll go and save it. And that's it. So we've done essentially the equivalent of taking that tracking code and putting it directly into the site. But by using Google Tag Manager, we've been able to actually set that um, that tracking code from Clarity and put it into our website that way. So that's how you go ahead and actually install Clarity. Very straightforward, very simple. But like I said, I would suggest rather than putting the code directly into the web pages, into the head element, I would suggest using something like Google Tag Manager, um, especially if you are using then Google Analytics and other potential tracking codes or JavaScript snippets on your site. It's a better way or a better tool to actually manage all of that in one place. So hopefully that helps. This is the first video in sort of a series I'm going to be doing all about Microsoft Clarity. So in other subsequent videos, we'll be looking at the dashboards, the recordings, the heat maps, any other functionality that exists. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, so far, do you think it's something that you're going to install on your site and actually try it out? Um, or are you kind of waiting to find out a little bit more about it? Let me know what you think. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.